Hello from This and That Editorial. Today we have another clothes haul and try on unboxing uh, from the real the real. So let's see what we have here. I can't get enough of the real the real really. It is so inexpensive and high quality clothes. Okay, so we have a sweater and a pair of trousers. So we'll look at the trousers first. Armani. Blue Collisioni. If we can display them nicely here. These weren't creased. They either had the crease taken out, I didn't ask them to do it. They're just selling them as is without a crease. The drape of the pleat, which is a darted uh, pleat, box pleat on the other side, is falls quite nicely without having a crease in the pants. So you can see how nice the drape is. And the weave is a very fine weave, dark gray. And so I wanted to combine these with a sweater for the fall weather and the even colder weather. This is a unbranded sweater. Has no label on it. So it's quite clean, but labels can sometimes have a little too much going on with them. So this is a fine cable, a little bit finer cable knit sweater quite nice sort of um, delicate cable sweater a little bit more feminine I suppose you could say rather than the big cables that they have on on the other sweaters you can buy so we're going to try this on and just show you how that looks and we're also going to try on some great coats for the really cold weather okay before we try anything on I'm just going to show you these great coats that I've got uh, that I got secondhand uh, not from the real the real but I got them secondhand they have uh, these leather stitched buttons on them which are Sort of not great for the environment, but they're still quite ornately and hand stitched. So this is a this is a, oh, a great coat with relaxed shoulders. It doesn't have any shoulder pads in it. So this is a vintage jacket that was made without shoulder pads from the 1960s. 1950s or 60s or maybe even older haven't been able to ascertain the, the age of this it has a sort of military styling on the front pocket the front chest pocket okay so we'll look, and and nice uh, styling on the wrists with the same leather buttons hand stitched great coat that is even more elaborate. This has a faux fur collar on it. This is also vintage. 
they were thinking of the environment back then. Very large buttons, I think they're also Corozo, the vegetable ivory, so that's sensitive to the environment. And this is also a brownish color, dark brown. And you'll see, we'll see what that looks like when I've got it on. It doesn't have a chest pocket button, it just has side pockets. Okay, now I'm wearing the sweater with the wool trousers. I've tucked the sweater in. This is an Italian style thing to do. Um, it's nice and fits snugly and it looks stylish and a bit uh, athletic. Um, so anyway, you can see that it's quite nice. You can also, if your pants are unhemmed, you can roll up the trousers rather than getting them cuffed. Although I don't cuff great trousers, uh, but it, it looks all right. Now we'll try on the first of these great coats for the really cold weather wear a sweater underneath it, it's roomy enough in the shoulders. Do up the leather stitched buttons. You can see the shoulders are really relaxed, it's really nice and comfy. You can put your hands in the pockets and the drape still looks good. Half the belt there. So this you can throw on in the winter. You can imagine what your jackets look like with the shoulder pads removed by looking at this jacket. This is the second of the vintage gray coat from the 1950s, 60s. Looks like something you could wear in Siberia, although it has Very warm and comfy and again it has no shoulder pads in it although it's a little bit more boxy than the other jacket so thanks for watching this and that editorial leave us a like and subscribe